I don't know about this, guys. This doesn't look safe. Just try it, man. Yeah, we've done this a bunch of times. You just put your <laughs> hand in the egg. It, yeah, it's as very that. slimy. Uh, uh, um, I, I, I don't know how to respond to that. You um, just respond to it by putting your hand mm. in the egg. It doesn't seem... So just do it! Uh, uh, this is so weird. Oh my what goodness, the... do you want us to do oh it? Oh my gosh. Make oh, you okay, little... gee whiz. Oh my goodness. Oh. oh, oh, that's oh, what the heck? Why you got me to do this? Yeah, what the heck was that? See, man, that was fun, wasn't yeah, it? Wasn't it so much fun? It's not fun. It's oh, oh my goodness, what is that? Get the taser! Get the taser! Get something! Get it off! The door's locked. I can't break open the box. What's it doing what to him? Whose idea was it to mess with this? Was it you? No, it was you, Captain. You came up with this. Uh, I did no such know. thing. I'm fine. It's just. What did it do to you, man? Why really? is something Whoa. poking through your chest? Oh my gosh, what the <laughs> heck is that? <laughs> well, see you guys. What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, your man, Stoolsicamon. Back at it with another video, and today we're continuing our. We are doing yet another toxic movie review. And yesterday I was able to check out Alien, Romulus, and Dolby. So, but before we get to actual beginning of the video itself, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I'm on absolute freedom to run the road to 2,000 subscribers. Just uh, 963 away now, and also maybe I'll be the YouTube algorithm recommended to more people. Maybe they could join. That <gasps> yeah. <laughs> And do feel free to comment your thoughts on Alien Romulus down below. Um, but that being said, guys, let's get right into it. Yeah! But before we get right into it, yeah! I'm gonna give a quick plot synopsis. So, let's just get to it. So, transition on shoes, I mean. Space colonizers come face to face with the most terrifying life form in the universe while scavenging the deep ends of a derelict space station. Alright, so heading into Alien Romulus, I was excited because I heard the names attached with uh, Fede Alvarez, which I haven't watched most of his work, but I've heard he did great with the Evil Dead 2013 reboot. He also did great with Don't Breathe a while, like a few years ago, and now got a lot of uh, praise and stuff. So uh, when I heard his name was attached, I was going like, hmm. And he he's a pretty decent uh, director like that I get here brought up a couple times. So when I heard he was a part of the project, I went, oh, okay. Um, where I was kind of like a little bit hesitant a little bit is... This is, um, well, I wasn't hesitant. I was 50-50 on the situation, but when they announced this that uh, as a mid-cool between Alien and Aliens, I didn't know what to think, really. Um, and also, uh, I heard that it was going to go strictly back to the horror routes, which that was cool to hear, because I love the, the, even though I love Aliens more as a movie compared to Alien, I love the horror aspect of Alien more than the, like, action part of Aliens, even though that's still phenomenal in its own type of way. And also, the cast looks pretty decent, um, even though the only one I really recognized was Kaylee Spaney because she was in Civil War earlier this year, which she did really phenomenal in that. Um, so, going into this one... And coming out of this one, let's just get to the actual review itself. So starting off with the good, all the practical and special effects. So before this movie even came out, it was confirmed that it was going to be all practical. And all the practical stuff with the Xenomorph was absolutely phenomenal, where they use mostly practical effects instead of CGI, which the CGI that they do use is pretty good, but not as amazing as the practical. Personally, I think this is the scariest the Xenomorphs have ever been in any of their movies. So I was like, 
generally shocked by how how realistic they looked compared to the all the other movies um next up we have another good the acting in the character uh, acting in the characters uh, more specifically kaylee spaney who i mentioned from civil war as rain which is our kind of new ellen ripley sort of role in here and then you also have Probably the standout of the movie, um, in my per personal opinion. It, it's a tie right there, but there's uh, this character named David, uh, named Andy, played by David Johnson, which he's a really fascinating and interesting character as well. So, um, and uh, I'll put it this way with, like, uh, Kaylee Spaney did amazing in the role. For the character of Rain, what they did is kind of a... No, uh, Noah situation from Kingdom of Planet of the Apes earlier this year with Caesar because you know Caesar. Spoiler alert for like the older Planet of the Apes movie, Caesar's dead. So and then Noah's basically continuing off of that legacy, and it depends on where the sequels go with this. But um, um, Kaylee Spaney, I think, could be. As could be the person that carries on the Alien franchise since, you know, Ellen Ripley isn't really a part of it anymore, nor seen, uh, also, nor Sigourney Weaver. So, I think it, it's in safe hands with those two specific characters. So, all right. Um, now, moving on to um, uh, another good, the gory kills. <laughs> They're... This is probably, besides that one scene from Alien 3, because that scene in itself made it probably the goriest. This is probably the goriest, like, straight up out of all the Alien movies, which all the, uh, the gory stuff, there's a, there's a scene later on in the movie, no spoilers here, this is spoiler-free, spoiler reviews coming out later, uh, tomorrow, and... Uh, there's one scene that was absolutely gruesome it was going like Ugh. and it was just so gnarly to look at and also um uh the the scenes in the trailers too uh with the the um the this the well let's bring it to the next subject the action sequences slash horror sequences with um the um oh the face huggers chasing them that was a really intense sequence and they did a good job with that um Another positive, the movie was absolutely stunning to look at. Originally, I would say Prometheus was the most beautiful looking out of all these movies. And now, to be honest with you, I would say this one surpasses it. And I would definitely say this one's the better movie too. Uh, I mean, just the, the way it looks into space is beautiful. And whenever it's dangling near a xenomorph's nest or anything, it's beautiful. Also, which is definitely helped by the beautiful cinematography throughout this film in space, which they did really great with. So, you know, it, I think this is the new bar for, like, how amazing Alien movies look. So it goes there. Um, the further world building that we get, we do on Earth, because most of the other alien movies don't really partake on, don't really happen on Earth much, and this one, kind of the same thing here, but you get some, you get more of, more of the gist of what's going on on Earth, and I think they do a good job showing just just enough to tell you what's going on on earth while all this craziness is happening um the jump scares i think this might be a hot take well it, it's it's pretty tied with the original movie or in aliens with the jump scares like for the best jump scares of the franchise there's particularly one of them that was really capable even though i knew it was coming it still got me and to jump and go Whoa! okay but, but i didn't make it loud noise but yeah yeah there were there were a couple jump scare sequences in here that got me so and then in the, fi the final positive in here we got the sound design the sound design for this was absolutely amazing it um takes a lot of inspiration origin from the original in itself was effective with its sound design, and this one improves on that. And whenever someone's dying, you feel it. And also, I, I, yeah, I saw this on Dolby, so I might be a little biased, but like everything that was happening was making the theater shake, and you were 
actually like really immersed into the movie with the sound design and also it was in Dolby so um particularly with the xenomorph uh, whenever you hear him walking around somewhere crawling around it it's definitely it's definitely something to be hold <laughs> so yeah all right now that is the good done now let's move on to the mix up but this isn't a mix of mine but it's a mix for everyone else watching this because it, it, this is either going to turn you on about the movie or turn you off it depends but the final act no spoilers here we'll get more in depth with the spoilers tomorrow so stay tuned for that but it takes it in some directions that is very interesting and i was going is that what they're actually doing are they about to do that right now and so they kind of did which i'll uh, as i said before i'll elaborate more on the spoiler review tomorrow um this is a this is a genuine mixed aspect of mine it follows the original very, very, very closely to the original Alien movie, with some tweaks here and there. Which, I think, in that case, it worked in its favor, And but still, I think they could have changed a little bit more aspects. But they, they do change some, especially, especially the brother-type-sister relationship between um andy and um rain so the the brother sister like relationship they have so uh, that definitely changes it a little bit um uh let's see here um uh another mix this one is just i wouldn't really say it's a mixed aspect but it kind of is is what is the future of the, after this? Uh, is it just going to be you see these characters once and they don't come back? Or are you going to actually do another sequel to this with them a little later on? Because I'm genuinely curious how they're going to follow this up. Because it, depending on if they don't do any sequels like this with these characters um, back um, it might end up going into the negative section. So that's why it's a mix, because I'm genuinely curious what's going to happen next. And then um, another mixed aspect is the character of Born. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce his name. He's the character in the the trailers that goes, There's something in water. There's the something in the... There's something in the f***ing water. Which, he's just... Uh, he, he just has this very particular stereotype of a character where he, he, I'm not getting into too depth here too much depth here but he he's a character that's kind of a a, a Richard if you know what I'm saying gotta keep it PG you know um, but basically kind of like that even though he's trying to help out it's just he, he and there, there's more in depth with the spoilers tomorrow again but they add something with his character and his background where you see where he's coming from, but you still don't necessarily like him, if that makes sense. So, that's a mixed. Now, unfortunately, we have move on to the bad, which this is the only bad I have, really. And, um, I'll, I'll again, another thing I'll definitely elaborate more on in the spoiler review tomorrow. There's a CG, there's CGI that they do that they do with something in later on in the movie which yeah not talking too much specifics here but i feel they could have done practical with it um and they went cgi and it i don't think really worked out in its favor so yeah, but it, it's it. There is moments where it does look decent, and it, it, you understand why they do it, did it. But still, it didn't quite work for me entirely. All right. Well, that being said, guys, let's bring out the toxic meter, and I will give this a not toxic. I will give this an A, an A, an A. Um, and I definitely recommend this to the alien fans to everyone to go see because it, i think it is one of the best movies of the year thus far definitely gonna be in my 
top 10, top 5 this year, it's going to be up there for sure. Um, and if you've been not liking any of the Alien sequels past Alien, uh, after Aliens, this is probably the one that's going to bring you back. So, um, but with that being said, there's that. And I hope y'all enjoyed this toxic movie review of Alien Romulus. Be sure to let me know your thoughts down below. Spoiler free, of course, and stay again, again, as I said before, stay tuned for my uh, spoiler review tomorrow. And also, I will be doing an Alien movies ranking on Sunday. So stay tuned for that as well. Um, but with that being said, guys, I'll see y'all next one, everybody. Peace out.